Hey guys, welcome back to the Multi Magic Channel. I'm Manoj, and in this video, we are going to explore the Jenkins, which is a key tool of DevOps. So, in this video, we'll cover the basics of Jenkins, which is before Jenkins and what is Jenkins and what is future of Jenkins and what is CI integration and how CI workflows and what tools we are using in CI and difference between continuous delivery and continuous deployment. And finally, why are you only using Jenkins in this series? Let's see one by one. So before Jenkins, software development was slow and manual. And each developer worked on their own separate code. But when it was time to combine all the code, it's called integration. Also, it had to be done manually. So then this manual integration often caused errors and delays. So let's start with Jenkins. So what actually is? Jenkins is an open source automation server. It helps to automate the process of building, testing and deploying code, which is exactly what we need in DevOps pipeline. Instead of doing things manually, Jenkins runs our pipeline automatically. It's like a small assistant that never sleeps. That's why it's one of the most widely used tool for implementing CI CD. All right. Now that we know what Jenkins is, right? Let's look at what makes Jenkins so powerful. There are some key features of Jenkins that make it one of the most popular tool in the DevOps today. Let's see one by one. So what is plugin support? So Jenkins support a huge number of plugins. Also, let you connect Jenkins with other tools like Docker, GitHub and Slack. Also, even cloud providers like AWS. So no matter what tools your team uses, Jenkins can probably connect to it. So in cross platform, you can install Jenkins on Windows, Linux, or even Mac OS. So whether you are using a laptop, a server, or even a Raspberry Pi, Jenkins will be working fine. So what is Web UI? So Jenkins gives a simple web dashboard, means where you can create a job, see build logs, or also check test result. Everything is just few clicks away. Also, it's a beginner friendly and make managing pipeline super easy. So Jenkins also supports something called a master agent system. That means the master Jenkins server, the master can assign work to other missions that is called agent. This helps you run build faster, especially in big teams or large projects. So here one of the best feature, which is a pipeline as code. Instead of clicking buttons every time, you can write your entire build process in a file which is called Jenkins file. This is where your automation steps are stored in version control, just like your code. So here Jenkins plays well with modern tools like Docker and GitHub. It can automatically pull the code from GitHub and build Docker containers and even push them into a registry. So this is super powerful and useful for modern CI CD pipelines. All right. Now that was the quick review of Jenkins feature. Next, we will see how continuous integration will work and how Jenkins bring it to the life. So what is continuous integration? Continuous integration means when a developer adding their code into a shared place regularly. So even every time a new code is added, it's automatically build and test without doing any manual steps. So this helps team to find issues easily and work faster and it deliver better software more smoothly. Let's see CI. So let's see how CI works with a real world example. If you are a developer working on a shopping app, okay? So you have finished a small change like fixing the add to cart button and push your code to the shared repository like GitHub. Then the CI server immediately detects this new code and automatically starts building and run the test. So possibly there are two outcomes. One is test is passed. It means everything working is fine. And the code is passed on to the tester for further testing. In case the test is fails, the CI server immediately sends the notification to the developer. So go and fix it quickly. So this entire process is automatic. No waiting, no delays. Also, it helps you catch the bugs and keeps the team moving fast. So this is 
how CI works. Now that we understand how CI works, right? Let's quick look at some popular tools used for it. So start with Jenkins. So Jenkins is a most popular CI tool and open source and highly flexible. You can install it and make it run, build, test or anything you work. So for example, if you push a code, Jenkins can check it, also run it and tells you if it paused or failed. Now let's see build bolt. So build bolt is a tool mainly used for running tasks and script automatically. Not a full CI tool like Jenkins, but helps in automation. For example, you want to restart a server after each code update, then bolt can do that. Now let's see bamboo is a developed by same company that made Zira and Bitbucket. Also, it is a paid tool. For example, when you update code in Bitbucket, Bamboo can run a build and link it to a Zira ticket. Now let's see Apache Gum. So it is one of the oldest CI tool, mainly used for Java products and not commonly used for now. For example, think of it like the grandfather of CI. Good in its time, but we use it now new tools today. And finally, what is Travis CI? So Travis CI is a popular with GitHub users and great for open source project and also very easy to set up. For example, if you push a code to GitHub, Travis AI runs test automatically and tells you the result. So these are the main CI tools we using. So finally, each one has its strength and the right choice depends on your project, team and workflow. So in this series, we'll focus on Jenkins because it's powerful, flexible and perfect learning for CI from the grounds up. In software development, we hear the term word like CI CD, but here CD means two different things, which is continuous delivery and continuous deployment. What are the difference between these two? Continuous delivery means the code is ready to go live, but someone has to manually approve it or click the button to release it. Then what is continuous deployment? Here the code is automatically deployed. As soon as it passes, all checks, no one need to press anything here. So. Now we understand the basic difference between these two, right? Let's see how continuous delivery will works. And also we will use a simple real life example. So that way you can understand what I am going to say now. Let's begin. So in continuous delivery, first developer writes some code. Think of this as the chef making the pizza. So after the code is written, it pushes to the repository like GitHub. Then after CI will trigger that, which means continuous integration. So CI runs the test and checks everything just like the kitchen checking if the pizza is ready and safe to deliver. So once the code is test and ready but it still doesn't go to live because someone needs to click a button to deploy it. So it's just like a restaurant calling you and asking should we send your pizza now. So once manual step is done here the code is ready to deploy the production. Now it's live and available for the users just like the pizza finally being delivered to your house. So this is the process continuous delivery. Now let's see continuous deployment. So finally continuous delivery means the code is ready and test but it wait for someone to approve the release before it goes live. So that we know what continuous delivery means. Now let's see continuous deployment. I will explain a simple real life example so that way you can understand what's going on continuous deployment. For a, suppose you order a burger from a food delivery app. The chef prepares it, packs it and the moment it's ready, it's sent to your home automatically without calling you. So you don't get a call or a need to confirm. This is like continuous deployment works. So once the product is ready, it passes all checks. So it's sent out without manual approval. In continuous deployment, if a developer finish a feature or fix a bug and the push the code to GitHub. So here CI starts the code automatically built and test using Jenkins or any another CI tools. Also CI checks if everything is working fine without any errors, automatically the code push it to the live applications which means production. So there is no need any manual pressing buttons. 
So continuous deployment is like trusting the system to go live as soon as the production is ready. Just like the burger sent automatically when cooked. Now that you understand continuous integration and delivery and deployment means. Let's see how Jenkins actually handles this entire flow using something called a Jenkins pipeline. So why we are using Jenkins? Because it's one of the most powerful and beginner friendly. Also it's open source, easy to set up and also supports every language or tool you might use in DevOps. So you can connect to Jenkins using GitHub, Docker, testing tools, basically anything using its huge plugin support. Whether you are running it on a laptop or a Raspberry Pi, Jenkins just works. Also, it gives you full control from writing a build jobs, it designing complex CI-CD pipelines. And that's why for learning and real world automation, Jenkins is the best tool to start with. So far now, we have seen how development used to work before Jenkins, what Jenkins does, how CI-CD fits in and why Jenkins is such a powerful tool for automation. So coming next video, we will get hands on starting with setting up your Raspberry Pi, installing the OS and preparing it for Jenkins. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'm Manoj and I will see you next time. Bye bye.